Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install a transmission temperature gauge on a Peterbilt 379. It's actually pretty simple. So you want to get your gauge first of all. And the gauge you're going to have to hook up the light that's on top there. I already hooked that up. And then you got ground and sending unit that goes to the transmission that s there and i is ignition so it's power when the key is turned on but uh on these peterbilts they actually have extras behind the dash so it's pretty easy to find the ground and the ignition but the sending unit you gotta wire in yourself so you'll need a roll of wire and some of these ring connectors To go to the sending unit and for the back of the gauge or you can use these spade connectors too which actually they come with the gauge but i'm going to use ring terminals and put them on the bolts there so first you get gauge and then you'll have to figure out what size around this is and get a hole saw and drill your hole in your dash and install it you put it in and then this goes on the back of it And these little bolts hold it into the dash. So first you want to do that and install it or you can wait and you can put the wires on first and then install it and hook up your light too. And then you'll need to run your wire to the sending unit and install the sending unit which I'm going to show right now how to do that. Okay, so I've already installed the sending unit on here because I was working on the transmission the other day and I had to drain the fluid. So to install the sender, you'll have to drain the fluid. It's right here. The sender's right here because if you take it out and you don't drain the fluid out of the transmission, it will all come pissing out of here. And this is a two-piece sender that comes with this gauge. So this piece goes in. I think the gauge came with two different uh, styles, so you can get the one that you need. It comes with it. And then this smaller one threads into the middle. And you want to make sure you put some sort of sealant on the threads so it doesn't leak after. And when you tighten this little one up, don't tighten the shit out of it because it'll break off. And then right on the end here, there's two nuts and a washer. You take the outside nut off and you hold the inside nut with two wrenches and that's where your wire will go and from there you'll have to run it up to the firewall somewhere and find a spot to run it through to the dash to the gauge and I'll show you guys here where to drain the fluid out of the transmission and refill it right here on the 18 speed this is your drain on the back. So you drain all the fluid. And then up here, on the side there, the driver's side, towards the back, kind of, there's another plug. That's where you fill. So you want to have one of those pumps that goes on your uh, pail of oil because it makes it a hell of a lot easier and you fill that on level ground until it starts coming out of there and then that's how you know it's full but you gotta make sure on your level ground you gotta get the wrong reading and in here there's one of the, it'll look like this one of these plugs will be in here before you start doing this to take it out Okay, let's run okay, the wire. So what I'm going to do is I've put some yellow tape on the end of the wire so I can see it better behind the dash when I stick it through. And I'm going to run it through this grommet here because there's already a bunch of other stuff running through there. And it comes out right behind the glove box. You can actually see it from behind the dash inside. So it should be pretty easy to fish it 
push it through and grab it from the inside and turn it to the gauge. Trick here. I just took a piece of wire, like rigid wire, and taped it to my sending unit wire so I can get it in the general area inside that I want it. If you can't get it where you want it that way, you can take out these screws in your gold box. There's about eight of them. And this whole gold box will just pop out and then it'll be right there and then you can fish it over there. It's pretty simple. Okay. You can see with that wire wrapped around the other wire with some tape. You can shove it through just like that and it'll be right there. Make it super simple so you don't have to take out your glove box and piss around with that. Okay, so we got our wire run and our connector put on there. And be careful when you're tightening those connectors because you can snap that whole thing off if you tighten it too much. And I zip tied it there and rounded up this loom up to the top and then there was another loom going into the firewall so I rounded up through there so it's nice and protected. Now we'll go inside and wire everything up. Okay, so we got the gauge installed and wired up. And on these Peterbilts, you can see these plugs. There's spare ignitions and grounds behind the gauges. And they're labeled. So you just find a power and ground and run it to the back of the gauge. And then that one wire from the sending unit on the transmission, you run it up to the gauge and your lights, put your dash back together, your screws back in, take these six screws out to get your panel out, and then you're done. Make sure everything works, lights work. Take it for a drive and see if the temperature goes up or not. If it goes up, then that means it's working, and then you're done. If you guys want any more videos like this for Peterbilts, just let me know in the comments. Because I do quite a bit of different work on this truck myself. So yeah.